Welcome back to Kirby Mass Attack. Still in World 4, but we're nearing the end. One stage remains between us and the actual boss of the world. Which makes me wonder, given what we had to go through, to becoming three stages to unlock this one, what was being sealed away? So we are required to have 10 Kirby's to enter this stage. We can theoretically beat it in one go. But the zombies will keep coming back. Uh, we can theoretically beat this all in one go, but admittedly, I haven't really been looking forward to this stage. So this is a fairly obvious one right here at the start. Um, just keep going to the right and you'll see another grave. Like, you'll see one you can go under? Keep going to the right, and you'll see another one. Keep going to. So the key's gonna be for another one. So we have to go through pretty much this entire stage without losing a Kirby. Terrible door, with a big lock, two chains keeping it closed. So we have heal over here, that's probably a shortcut door? Yeah. Come on, everybody up. It's a mini-boss rush! Now, I like to think I have a better handling on the game than I did before. So I like to think I'll have an easier time against these guys than I did my first time around. gonna put sand on the ground as long as we keep moving. It shouldn't be a problem. Can't do anything while that guy's here. There we go. Oh, you know, I probably could have had a Kirby grab onto the chain on the left. I know he's going to be spikes. Oh, everybody up. Really? I could have tried to break the one in the middle. I think that's what I I could have tried to break the one in the middle, but that's like kind of a precise throw. And I'll just wait for the spiked one on the bottom to not be spiked and we're good.
So that's one chain removed. And you'll notice there are three doors, though. And that's because even with the chains removed, the door is still locked. We need the key. Okay, one phase down. him way too high. Sorry about that, buddy. I didn't heal up. I probably should have. I'm not getting many throws there. I'm not too concerned about losing this fight, though. Hit his head. If it like makes him go back in or something. It seemed like it. He does not stay out for long. Hit him once. It's like messing up the throw doesn't really affect things too bad, though. Most of the time, the Kirby's don't even take damage. They just kind of go back and start wobbling. There we go. That should be it for him, I think. Go up there and grab it. Um, I don't actually want to. Can I fail this one? Yeah, I just wanted to go over here. Get the blue ones in, they're the important ones. Okay, we're all pink. And that leaves us with one door, and this is the door I was not looking forward to. Fish Boss is not one that I had a good time with, and that's predominantly because it is underwater. Controls underwater are kind of weird. Give me the air bubbles. Yeah. Stay up here, actually. So I can grab these. Okay, we got everybody back. We're good. We're fine. Yeah, got, got the air bubbles. Oh, this is the tight one. Okay, we're doing fine, though. I'm gonna stay up here. Yep, sure did hit none of them that time. 
I shouldn't have pushed ahead. That was kind of on me. God dang it. It's so hard to hit. so hard. Okay, well, we got the bottom now. Okay, only, he's only got one segment left. Okay, that wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. Um, and that being from A, I'm allowing myself the occasional save state, and B, I was very worried about running out of breath, which ended up not being a huge problem. Um, throwing Kirby's underwater is still jank. And somebody's going to have to tell me if that is just kind of the way things are. Really? That one Kirby? There we go. Yeah, somebody's going to have to let me know if that's just kind of the way things are in the game, or if that... Because given that it's strictly underwater, I feel like there would have to be some kind of effect on real-world playing. Like, that that alone can't exist in isolation in this environment. It can be exaggerated by this environment, but the underlying issue can't be unique to this. That's just kind of the way engineering works. So it makes me wonder how much of an issue it was before. It may have been almost unnoticeable, but like I can sure tell that it is very hard to throw Kirby's underwater, and I couldn't tell you why. So we got ten Kirby's. They're all pink. We're not done yet, though. Everybody pile on! Thank heavens, I got on him eventually. No, 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 If we saved everybody, then I'll keep that. But, like, no, 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 no. I grabbed this corner of the window, is what I did. Then you do this, and this is where it's, like, really hard to hit you for some reason. Everybody on, get over Man. Just heckin' killed him. 
It's just a dead bat. So this is what was behind the barrier. Was it just that bat? Was that it? There's our metal. So you get through this with 10 Kirby's, which means, like, obviously it's a mini boss rush. It's a mini boss rush, obviously. Um, so that's your reward for effectively beating it without, I mean, beating it without losing hurry, beating it without getting hit in a way. If you can take the key the whole way through, you also get the chest very easy. Like, it's a level all about its mini boss rush, mostly. And that's the stage. More so than sealing something, I wonder if it was simply barring the way forward. Because they must have been protecting that bat who was sealed away, but that bat may have just been the front guard, because beyond that was the path onward. To yonder boss. Oh boy, more checklist. I mean, okay. I kind of had to, to get a medal. And that's every medal. It still shows us at 185 out of 186. But if I go back and check the world map, I have every medal. So I don't really know where that last medal is. It's probably just a, hey, you beat the game medal, would be my guess. Anyway, ten Kirby's. Let's go. So we're back to the volcano, finally. And we're fighting the volcano. Okay, so this is working like the turtle's back. No, one hit! Dang it! This is working like the turtle's back. So if we let too many of those hit the ground... I'm glad that counted, because I wasn't even trying to be close. I wonder why the spikes are there on the left-hand side. It just feels unpleasant. Like, watching him sliding up and down when there's all those... Okay, so I can just do this now. throwing of Kirby's. No, I lost to Kirby! Okay, we, 
can lose one Kirby. It's fine. I wouldn't... I don't like losing one Kirby, but we can. Okay, so they do move faster if I double tap. Does that look if you only have one Kirby? Maybe the platform shrinks. I don't like this. Still gotta be on the left. Okay, one more. Yeah, get down that volcano. We should definitely leave. That means we can take our Kirby's between stages. Oh, we're going somewhere. Or between worlds. Uh, not really? Or no, maybe that was the pig? I feel like... It would have been more fitting for that boss to be undead-based, but I guess Necrodius is the undead-based enemy. I almost feel like they intended for Necrodius to be the boss of World 4, especially with the build-up to the end and everything being sealed off. And then almost at the last minute decided, no, we gotta have, we gotta have more in the finale than that. You don't tell me what to do. Oh boy, the metals glowed. Wait, so did... Were the metals needed for something? They're not just a collectible? Oh no, maybe we were required to collect the rainbow metals. they do. Which brings us to level five.
World 5. Now this is not nearly as complex a world as the pre prior worlds. This is not like an 11 stage world. This is a boss rush world. Until next time, everyone. This is gonna be a good time. <laughs>